Gemini, happy birthday to those of you who have birthdays in the first two weeks of June. Um, I am here to do your first two weeks of June reading. So, a couple updates. I've started a podcast. It's called Modern Life Mystic Woman. I will link below the Instagram, um, also the YouTube channel for it. And um, I believe it's going to be on Spotify. We're working on getting it on iTunes right now. But... Yeah, it's going to be out there. Um, So make sure you go follow the Instagram for more updates. Also, this will be the last time you see this background because by the end of this week, my studio will be done and I'll finally be able to um, film in there. So, okay, um, the Oracle cards. But first, the song I got was Not Okay. I think it's Kygo and Chelsea Cutler. So, um, I'm not okay. I just want you to stay. Wake up call. So, you might be having a wake up call to the fact that you are not okay with something. Nurture yourself first. Um, bust out of your cocoon. Okay, so there could have been like a situation uh, months ago maybe that you, that ended and you've kind of been going through the motions. You've kind of been like... I'm great, I'm fine, I'm doing great, I'm doing fine. And then it like just hits you and you're like, you know what, I'm not doing fine. And you know what, Gemini, it's okay. If you're not doing fine, it's okay to be like, you know what, I'm not okay. And just allow yourself to be not okay. Allow yourself to move through that. Allow yourself to give yourself some love and nurturing based on the fact that, you know what, sometimes we're not always going to be super duper happy sometimes we need to allow ourselves to feel certain emotions sometimes we need to move through those emotions um in order to evolve in order to transform so that's why i think that bust out of your cocoon is there anyways bottom of the deck we got the temperance card so this is about being really patient with yourself um having some kind of harmonious balance i also think you're getting a lot of signs and synchronicities from the universe right now that are probably telling you to like pause slow down like really engage with yourself engage with what you're feeling allow yourself to go through the motions allow yourself to release those feelings or just integrate them into your daily life all right so overall connection between you and another person we've got the ten of wands so this might be a situation in which you you feel like you've been carrying this baggage for quite some time and i also feel like you're ready to let go of it Um, so it could be a particular relationship that maybe you feel like you've kind of carried the relationship. Um, and I think you're ready to be done carrying this relationship. So let's see. Eight of pentacles. Yeah, this is, could be about work. This could be about just about any kind of connection, life in general. You might have really dove into kind of working and kind of taking on a lot of stuff in order to um, deflect from thinking about something in particular, something that may be be bothering you. And I feel like, be careful because you might get really run down. You might get to a point where you're like, you know what, I can't keep pretending that I'm okay. I can't keep pretending that I'm, um, you know, just doing fine here and it's okay. It's okay to not be fine. All right, let's see. Five of Cups. Yeah, this is like about some kind of past situation. Seven of Swords and the Death card. This was something about an ending. Something about an ending that I think you um, you haven't really overcome. Maybe you've been like telling yourself you've overcome it or telling like the world that you have or showing this person that you've overcome it and it just seems like Maybe, maybe you haven't. This could even be kind of, for some of you, you might have gone through a like significant loss, like uh, somebody passed away and you've just been kind of spinning your wheels. You haven't allowed yourself the time to grieve. And for some of you, it's a relationship that ended and you have not allowed yourself the time to grieve it. Um, because, you know, you're like, I don't want to, I don't want to be sad. So five of... Five of Cups here. What's this Five of Cups doing here? King of Wands. Okay, so this could be in relation to a fire sign. This could be, you know, um, 
this could be anywhere from like you know you're dealing with a fire sign um you could be dealing with like a situation in which you're like i don't have time to grieve i don't have time to sit and think about this um which is kind of where you're in this i also feel like this might have been a situation in which you found out somebody was being pretty deceptive and it's like it, it, it was unfortunate because you had to end something that you weren't maybe expecting like you could have been happy in a relationship and then you find out that this person was doing something deceptively behind your back and then here your happy relationship immediately goes into well now this is over like what do I do now this is over obviously um and you never took the time to grieve it you never took the time to grieve it maybe you never got the closure you wish you had gotten understanding why this person did it the devil came up the devil came up as the clarifier for the death card so um the devil is dead <laughs> could be dealing with a capricorn uh could just be dealing with somebody who is toxic somebody who was kind of had some toxic behaviors had some addiction problems i'm almost seeing that this person could have hidden these addictions from you and that's kind of how you found out and then you were kind of like oh it kind of caught you left field and you're like well one i don't have the time to deal with that i don't have the time to deal with that hurt that pain that that brings me um and you kind of just like picked up your shit and moved on without even thinking about it. Um, and you're like, you know, I, I don't have time for this. You could be somebody who's like a really go, go, go. And you're like, I'm not going to let this affect me. I'm going to keep like driving on to success. This person made a mis This person was deceptive. Like that's not the kind of energy I want in my life. But at some point, you know, you have to kind of nurture and heal yourself. Um, allow yourself that healing period because it's great that you're able to just pick up and go but I'm sure there's still a little part of you that feels like conflict feels like wants to understand wants to understand why this happened so let's see cancer and you could still be kind of focused like observing this person we've got We've got the chariot card and the lovers here. So there's your card, Gemini. Um, but this is both about decisions. Like this is a both, these are two cards that can sometimes represent decisions or going like paths because the chariot card, you know, it's like the black and white here. There's two options. There's two paths that you can go on. It's about choosing the, choosing the path. And then the lovers card, um, normally symbolizes like decisions in, in love, decisions in regards to destiny paths and destined relationships. So this could be a soulmate, could, this could have been a soulmate connection. This could have been something that you were meant to learn something very significant from it. Um, this page of swords here, it's like hinting at kind of some kind of communication here obviously you know when the page of swords comes up it's kind of that stalker energy or somebody kind of wanting to reach out somebody wanting to reach out i do feel like you didn't receive some kind of closure here in regards to the situation because you kind of just picked up and left without giving this person an opportunity to give you the closure but at the same time, I think that you're always a little bit curious if you would have. Um, and we've got the Five of Swords here. I mean, the Five of Wands. So what's the Five of Wands doing here? Six of Cups. Reconciliation. Arguments. There could be somebody here who wants to... Who wants to apologize. Who wants to reconcile something that happened here. Um, I feel like what they want to, they obviously that the fact that they hid something from you, the fact that something was hidden to you, um, they are really internally conflicted about it. Oh, this can be anything. This could be anything. They hid their feelings. They hid some kind of behavioral pattern they had. They hid some kind of, you know, 
addiction that they had. There's just, you'll have to fill in the blanks for me there. Um, Knight, uh, Knight of Wands, the World card, and the Three of Wands. So, the world is all about kind of closing out closing out cycles and entering like new ones. Um, but in this person's energy, in your energy, you seem to be the one kind of taking on the move. Somebody might be coming towards you. Um, somebody might be coming towards you. Coming towards you with communication, but then at the same time, it's like, this person's also waiting. This person's also like working to build up to this, like working to build up to this. But there's like this feeling of like they they could be looking at you from a distance, but you appear as b very apathetic. Like you're still thriving, um, even though there might be a part of you that's kind of like really beat up by this. You're still moving. You're still moving, but. There's something in order to get to this world card where you like end this, it's almost about admitting to yourself that this this did a number on you. This did a number on you and it needs to be looked at because I feel like if you have other romantic opportunities coming in, because you've neglected this and you haven't fully taken the time to process and heal this, you're going to keep manifesting like similar relationships because that's going to be a fear in the back of your mind is like, am I going to find out that this person's doing something behind my back? Um, because there was, there was something here that happened deceptively that resulted in like, boom, this is over. Boom. Now I have to end this with you. And it's like, even if you come into new relationships, you're kind of like, okay, what if this person's like the last person and I find out that and they have some hidden thing and the only reason you're thinking that is because you haven't fully healed you haven't fully taken the time to process it to think about it you haven't wanted to and maybe if you were to take the time to process think about it you would be like the signs were there the signs were there um those were like the signs were there uh that makes sense to me now and you can kind of like see in these upcoming relationships that come towards you that, okay, this person's not doing that, you know, because it's like there was something hidden, but maybe this person did some things like they'd be disappear for long amounts of times or they'd be like kind of secretive in regards to certain stuff. And it's like if you were to take the time to kind of peek into this to like think about it, even though it's painful you would kind of see the pattern. You would see the pattern. And then you'd be able to translate that and you'd be able to close the door on it. You'd be like, you know what? I saw the pattern. I saw the pattern there. Not everybody's going to be like this. Um, and this has nothing to do with me as a human being. So that's kind of what I'm seeing here for you guys, Gemini. I know this is kind of a weird reading, but it's more so about um, moving forward with your own personal growth and dealing with like whatever trauma happened here um, and if this you know for some of you this is less about romantic and maybe it is like just grieving like a loss of somebody so that's what I'm seeing for you guys I hope this resonated and the extent I'm going to look more into who this is coming to or who this is you're dealing with um what the message is here advice from spirit what's happening unexpectedly for you and what is blocking your connections from coming in so if you're interested in that click the link in the description box and i will see you guys there bye